Hey, what's up everybody? This is Caroline. Welcome back to our intermediate video tutorial series on Core Graphics. In this part of the series, we'll find out about creating portable document format files, or PDFs, as they're better known. Let's get started. A PDF file is a file format that presents documents that look just like a printed document. They should look the same on all operating systems and hardware. As Core Graphics itself is independent of hardware, naturally it's really easy to create PDFs. In fact, it's almost the same as drawing to an image context. You just create a PDF context instead. To begin the context, instead of calling UI Graphics Begin Context with Options, call either UI Graphics Begin PDF Context to Data or to File, depending on the destination you want. For a file, you specify the file name, the page drawing size of the PDF, and any metadata, such as the author of the PDF. You add PDF metadata to a dictionary. Here, I've added author, title, and creator. And there are other keys you can use, such as password and keywords. After creating the context with UI Graphics Begin PDF Context to File, you need to notify the context before every page with UI Graphics Begin PDF page. Then you just draw with all the code that we've learned in this series. The PDF can then be shared over a printer or email or just saved to the file system. Reading PDFs is very easy if you use a UI web view. You just load the PDF into the UI web view as a document and then you read and scroll through the PDF. However, there may be times when you need to render a PDF page into a CG context. This is not so easy, as it's not wrapped by UIKit. Apple has a number of CG PDF document types. You get the document with CG PDF document create with URL. Get the number of pages with CG PDF document get number of pages. And you can load a page with CG PDF document get page. It's then very easy to render the page into another context, such as an image context. Just use CG Context Draw PDF page. However, here the page is drawn upside down. You may remember in the previous series, I mentioned that the Core Graphics context coordinates start at the bottom left rather than the top left that UIKit uses. This is a good example of when you would flip the context before drawing. To do that, just translate the context CTM up by the height of the document and scale the document to minus one. This will flip the context so that any further CG drawing will match the UIKit coordinates. But be aware that you will have to restore the context if you do any subsequent UI kit drawing. In the demo, we're going to create a PDF report of the budget expense categories and display it in a UI web view. We'll save the PDF to a document in the app's document directory. In this demo, we're going to produce a PDF report of our budget. The PDF will look like this at the end of this demo. Run the app and click on the share icon. The easiest way to display a PDF is to use a UI web view. So this is a UI web view that loads a PDF from the app documents directory called pennywise.pdf if it exists. Of course, it doesn't exist yet, so there's nothing to show. In Xcode, have a look in main.storyboard at the PDF view controller scene. Here's the view and all it has is a UI web view. Have a look at pdfviewcontroller.swift in the PDF group. View did load calls a method create PDF, which currently doesn't do anything, and then loads the PDF into the web view. 
There's also a helper method to give us the document path for the PDF. And create PDF is where we'll create the PDF. First, get the PDF path. To create a PDF context, it's much like creating an image context. A size of zero gives the context the default size of eight and a half by 11 inches, but you can create the context with any size you like. After beginning the context, end the context to ensure that we don't forget to do this later. You start each page of the PDF with UI Graphics Begin PDF page. Let's make the background of the page the app's light blue color. So create a new method called Render Background. Get the current context. This gets the current context, whether it be a PDF context or an image context. Now get the size of the context and fill it. Call this method from create PDF. Let's run the app to see if we get a one page PDF with a bluish background. And that's a good start. Now we'll print some data to the page. We're going to print these expense categories with the expenditure bars on the first page. And in the challenge, you'll print the pie chart on the second page of the PDF. Create a new method called render categories. And call this method from create PDF after rendering the background. In render categories, get a reference to the context. Now, rather than laying out all the data in the context, I'm going to cheat and use an existing view controller. This instantiates the table view controller with the view that currently shows the expenditure bars. Get the width and height of the table view controller and set the frame. Now render the whole table view layer into the current context. Layer.rendering context flattens all the sub layers and draws into the specified context. Run the app and see that all the categories are printed out. To lower the table view in the page so that it doesn't draw at the top, we'll need to translate the context before rendering the budget controller table view into it. So first save the state, then translate the context so that the table view will be centered in the context. And finally, after rendering the budget controller, remember to restore the context. Now run the app. And the table view is now rendered in the center of the page. Now we're going to add a heading just like we did in the previous tutorial with the text. Here we've set the text attributes and the title and drawn the text at the top of the page. And run the app. And that's the final PDF. That's it for this video tutorial. And now we have your final challenge waiting for you. Your challenge this video is to render the pie chart into a second page in the PDF. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.